Hi there, welcome to another episode of Tales from the Towers. Um, it's been a very emotional couple of months. Um, we've been going through a lot as a team together. We've had a very significant resignation in the co company and um, also somebody passed away. One of our team members passed away. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been quite a roller coaster ride. So First of all, just want to say to Taniku, my brother, we love you, we appreciate you, and may you rest in peace. And um, we went to pay our respects to the family members, and I'm so glad that Niku was there because I was so emotional. I couldn't really speak to them, um, but Niku was there with the right words, and he knew what to say, and um, respect and peace, brother, um, may you rest in peace. So something that I've been mulling about and having a lot of introspection about is um, in one of the interviews, one of our um, people that applied said that he resigned from his previous um, job because his boss was very emotional and triggered and passive aggressive and spoke down, down on him and was sarcastic. And in today's day and age, that's something that is amazing to me that um, bosses and CEOs and leaders of visionary teams can be emotional. Um, it's literally, to me, something that um, I struggled with in the past. And I thought that to mo motivate a team that you need to be aggressive and uh, have um, motivate them by using a stick and that is so wrong and I read a book by a guy called Ryan Holiday um, called The Obstacle is the Way and it really changed my way of of looking at life and looking at um, management and leading a team. Marcus Aurelius, one of the last Caesars of Rome, uh, was a Stoic so it's not a religion, it's a way of thinking. Stoicism is a set of beliefs that um, say that you basically shape your world around you by your thoughts and your beliefs. And if you aggressive and if you sarcastic and if you, yes, um, that's basically the life that you're going to have. And I suggest to everybody that leads a team, read The Obstacle is the Way, and get into, um, get to know a bit more about Stoicism. Um, it's really a very interesting um, way of looking at things and looking at life and logically looking at, but back to my point, the guy that I was interviewing said that his boss shouted at him and obviously the boss was going through some emotional trauma and troubles and things in his business, but and even somebody that's been working for me for a couple of years now, um, he resigned because his boss used to fire him and then uh, re-employ him and fire him again and re-employ him based on um, how he was feeling that day. And to me, that's a, literally not a good way of leading a team because you create a gap be between yourself and that team member. And they're never going to trust you again. So that's so important is to always keep the trust with your team and with your um, with your colleagues. And the quickest way that you're going to erode that trust is by being aggressive and being rude and whatever. So study a bit about stoicism. It's a good philosophy. Then a question that I get asked a lot um, and that I've been thinking about a lot these days is um, how personal and how involved should you get with members of your team? Um, we had an incident where somebody really important resigned because um, they felt that we were too involved in their family and I could see a couple of issues and I tried to help. And honestly, if I just go to the spring box, if I go look at the Springbok rugby team, Rassi Erasmus will be very, very concerned if there's something bothering one of his squad. Um, if there's somebody in his team that is experiencing personal issues, and I'm sure he'll get involved and help. So I feel that 
if you run a very good team and you see that one of the team members is experiencing an issue you need to help as the CEO or boss or uh, manager you need to help if they've got issues and remember the moment that you join a good company and a good team you become a member of that family and you need to help your family members out and um, I feel that you cannot get involved too personally I feel if there's a problem you need to address it and help out where you can and um, that makes for a better and stronger team at the end of the day so the two points that I want to make here is um, if you are triggered easily um, do not react if you get a mail that triggered you emotionally i mean don't not be vulnerable and um but don't be aggressive so do not respond to that awful mail immediately or that awful phone call take a walk um calm down the last thing that you should do is um respond to that mail that triggered you or that staff member calm down breathe take a 20 minute break do not make any emotional decisions in your life no good decision can ever be made if you on an emotional high or low you need to be calm and the first prize uh, if something bothers you a person bothers you a male bothers you is to actually pick up the phone once you've calmed down and phone them or see them face to face responding to a male with another male always gets misinterpreted always gets misread much better to um, contact people directly and sort it out uh, face to face or over the phone but be calm. Um, in this day and age, there's no reason to run a business by emotion. Um, you've got a team, your team is your family. Once you break the trust of a team member, that trust will never come back. And that's why it's so important not to um, manage and make, emotion, uh, make emotional decisions and manage staff and people when you're emotional or triggered. And that is my message for today. Plus, today is the big day, South Africa versus New Zealand. Um, go Booker. Um, they've got a fantastic team and fantastic coach, coaches. I'm sure there's going to be books written about this team and Rassi and Jock Ninaber. Um, amazing, amazing leaders. And make us proud.